boys and kings. But don't be out here acting like top flight security of the world. Can I get that if I wanted to try something else? this thing on last year i thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day we have our ups and downs but when they Hey everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. It is simply raining here and it is um, very cold. Um, I do not know, matter of fact, I can look at my phone to tell the exact degrees. It is 45 but feels like 42. So yeah, it is cold out here, um, but like I said, it's raining. So today's video i have gotten a notification from trader joe's about how um they have the new holiday uh treats and other stuff like that so i'm gonna run into trader joe's and see what the hype is all about when it comes to um these new holiday products um, of course show you all the new holiday products but then again i'll show um what i get once i get home and then I'm probably gonna get me some food um, from Raisin Cane, Raisin Canes. Um, and then um, from there, I'm gonna go home and chill. But I just want you guys to see the new um, items that they have at Trader Joe's. So first thing I need to do is get some gas because your girl is sitting on me. All right, so I just filled up on gas. Thank you, Jesus, got to the halfway mark. And it is Friday, so I won't really need all 15 of it, but at least I'll have gas in my car for Monday when I go back to work. Not only was it well decorated in here, they also had a bunch of different flowers and a bunch of different items for you to shop around and find. So of course it ranged from everything to body butter, hand soap, peppermint, cookies, mocktails, cocktails, sparkling beverages, and other items that you guys could try. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin 
TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Shut the lights, go in for it. Okay, y'all, so I'm back in the car from Trader Joe's. They had a lot of great items, honestly. It's just that um, I'm not sure if some of those items were worth the certain prices. Um, you know, as I just shared with my coworker, um, because she wanted the peppermint body butter, I was just like, mm, who in the world is paying um, $10 for passport chocolate? And, you know, I'm gonna play that little clip back right here because like I said, I'm not paying $10 for passport chocolate. That's something that like, you don't, um, you know, it's just something that you don't eat after paying $10 for it and looks like, you know, really like decorative or whatever. But anyways, $123 later, I'm out of there. Um, I'm gonna head around the corner now to go get some Raisin Cane's as I haven't had it in a while and I just love, love, love their um, food. And then I also have my Starbucks gift card that I can use for $10. I think I wanna try um, a Christmas cookie frappuccino, you know, of course, off that secret menu. Um, so that is what um, I am going to um, give a try. So I'll catch you guys at Raising Cane. Alright, and I made it to the Raising Canes. Alright, so I have made it to Raising Canes. Alright y'all, so my specialty from Raising Canes that I normally get is the Caniac Combo that comes with six tenders, um, fries, and then coleslaw and like two sauces. I don't like coleslaw, so <laughs> um, I always substitute that for um, extra fries um, or extra sauce. So um, I also need to get Sky some dinner because it's just me and her and Chuck, but Chuck already wants food from home. I'm just not in the mood to cook nothing and dirty up another dish. Um, so basically, who the hell is this? Lord, I tell you, I done said, who the hell is this? This man up here, like, telling me, come on, come on, pull up further. Pull up for what? At the end of the day, like, I know how to drive. I'm just not about to be on nobody's bumper. You know? I tell you, if this man ain't remind me off of um, Friday or Friday, whatever, whichever Friday it was, when they was like, um, yeah, we type, type um, top flight security of the world, Craig. This dude out here with, like, a whole thing around his, um waste and trying to direct me to move up some and be on somebody's bumper. I don't care if we at Cane's, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, wherever. I don't gotta be up on somebody's bumper because y'all got this little itty bitty space and it only allows maybe like five or six cars to be in the line from the speaker. That's y'all problem. You need to move it. But don't be out here acting like top flight security of the world. It, it ain't serious. You know, the one thing I can say about Raising Cane's is they food is always fresh. I'm not always, like, I might be waiting on arm and a, no, 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 let me take that back. I am never waiting on Raising Cane's for more than, like, three, four minutes tops. Uh, meanwhile, I'm sitting at Arby's and Wendy's, and I'm waiting almost ten minutes for a, a, a four for four meal, you know? So, I like the fact that it's just, like, a fast 
speed um, type of thing when it comes to raising canes, especially like I know that the you know you the kids of university come up here sometimes, but now that they got one up on the strip, I like that this one is more um, non jam packed. But anyways, let me let me just like come back to y'all um, in a moment when I get to um, Starbucks. Food should be in here. That's the bread, peanut combo, chicken dinner combo. All right. So when I get over to Starbucks, this is what I'm gonna order here. This is the Christmas cookie frappuccino that I will be ordering. I found this on Pinterest, I think, and I just saved it. Okay, y'all, now that I'm at Starbucks, what I'm gonna ask for um, is very simple for the cookie, Christmas cookie frappuccino. I'm gonna ask for a vanilla bean frappuccino, um, probably um, venti, and then I'm gonna get one to two pumps of peppermint, and then one to two pumps of toffee nut, and then caramel drizzle on top. Let's see if I can order it. Can I get today to do 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 um a vanilla bean frappuccino um tall tall vanilla Can I add one pump of peppermint syrup and then one pump of toffee nut syrup? Um, and then just to have it topped with whipped cream and raw sugar packets sprinkled on top and just some caramel drizzle, please. So you want um, extra whipped cream? No, I just want to make sure it's on there. It is? Yes. Okay. And you said you wanted sugar packets like on the side? Um, just one sprinkled on top, please. Oh, one sprinkled on top. Okay. And then just caramel drizzle on top and that's it. Okay. Caramel drizzle. Okay, your total is going to be 743. Thank you. Listen, I'm far from dumb. I know Starbucks people get sick and tired of the secret menu item orders and stuff like that, but y'all ain't doing nothing else. And on top of that, it's my way. So, um,. I want my drink. I want to give it a try. So this is going to be the Christmas cookie frappuccino when I'm able to get it. So thanks to my student who gave me a $10 gift card um, at Christmas time um, to pay for this because otherwise I would have paid for it. It's just, I don't know. It's just I wouldn't have probably got it today. But anyways, voila. Literally, and they're making my drink. So this was $4.95. With the rest of my gift card, I end up getting this cup for $4.95. What a steal deal, especially for Christmas. And it's made just like a regular red cup with a cute reusable straw. All right, so here it is. Here's the drink. It's actually um, kind of dark in here. But anyways, he said if I wanted to try something else, try the sugar cookie with the peppermint. So I'm going to give it a shot. Mm. Y'all, <clears throat> it really do taste like a sugar cookie. Um, it really do taste like a sugar cookie, like a Christmas sugar cookie. Oh my lord! Um, I was in heaven just now with that one sip, but um, I gotta wait on these cars to come by and then I'll sip on while I'm heading down the road. Cause God bless, it was. Amazing. Amazing for sure. Let me get on up the road, y'all.
All right, so I got the Trader Joe's Shimmering Candy Cane Body Butter. I don't know what this is like. They had a tester in the store. I just did not feel like testing it. I just wanted to buy it um, because I did not get to do the fall one. Um, I also picked up some Candy Cane JoJo's. These are little sandwich cookies that are, have a chocolate sandwich cookie um, cream with real candy cane pieces in every bite. Um, oh, right here we have the something spritzy, which is a sparkling festive beverage that has grapefruit, cranberry, and orange juices um, from concentrate and aromic bitter flavors. This was like $1.99. And then we also have um, the Trader Joe's Cinnamon Bun Inspired Pancake and Waffle Mix. This is probably is gonna be just like that pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. Um, tells you exactly how to make waffles. And then I guess on this side is where it tells you how to make pancakes. So some peppermint flavored baking chips. This one does not have a recipe on the back um, compared to the caramel sea salt baking chips that I bought in the fall that had a recipe on the back for those. But still, it tells you like what's in them and how to keep them intact. So peppermint flavored baking chips. Um, I also picked up some of the Trader Joe's peppermint pretzel slims. These are thin, crunchy pretzel slims with a candy coating and peppermint sprinkles. So this is kind of like what I made last year on my channel during Vlogmas. They're just pretzel slims, which are like pretzel thins, um, dipped in white chocolate, and then tossed with the um, candy coating and like the colorful peppermint sprinkles. I also picked up some Christmas sprinkles. These were $1.99. Um, just something cute and simple in case I feel like making cupcakes or cakes or who knows. I picked up the gingerbread cake and cookie mix with crystallized ginger pieces. I think that that's really cool how they make a cake and cookie mix where we can make some gingerbread men. It tells you exactly how to do that on the out of the box so if you want to do cake that tells you what you'll need cookies what you'll need so one whole box of this one large egg and one stick of softened butter is going to make cookies if you want to do a cake it seems like there's more ingredients that you'll need so i did pick up the gingerbread ice cream this is gingerbread ice cream with triple ginger snap cookie pieces and a gingerbread swirl I picked up the candy cane JoJo's ice cream. So this is kind of similar to the JoJo candy cane cookies where it has peppermint and vanilla ice cream swirled with fudge and chunks of candy cane JoJo's cookies. Last but not least, um, holiday wise, I picked up the Trader Joe's ice gingerbread squares. These are soft baked gingerbread bars glazed with icing. So it is six squares. You're supposed to keep this frozen. When you're ready to serve them, you just thaw them at room temperature an hour before serving. So you can alternatively um, thaw these in the refrigerator for at least three hours before serving. And once they're thawed, keep them refrigerated and consume within five days. If you choose to microwave them, you can do that as well. But I think this is a really cute idea. And Sky's taking over. Okay, so what we have is purple fruit dots. What's, the, what's the flavor for the purple? Grape. Grape mango. Grape mango, and then this is strawberry mango. Uh huh. And this is mango. Just mango. Yeah, mango. This is mango. And then we have strawberry. Sh strawberry, strawberry apple. apple. Um. Fruit, so uh, fruit pouches. They're yeah. basically called fruit sauces. Though. And then we have mm. a different kind that I love. It's banana, apple, apple, uh, fruit pouches. Okay. And then we have this apple crisp, um, apple juice, pouch. apple juice. And then here are some diced tomatoes. Mm. 
we have some regular tomatoes. These are called teeny tiny tomatoes because they're really teeny and you can like just eat them. Yeah, it's like a little tiny snack that you can eat. Okay, and now we have some noodles. Noodles, and then we have these um marshmallows. mini marshmallows. This is chicken broth. <laughs> it's chicken broth. Yeah. And then, and then we have some penny. Penny. Arabitia. I'm probably saying it wrong, but this is a classic Italian dish made with imported macaroni pasta and an authentic spicy tomato sauce. Um, I heard that this was good. Just sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top. Now we have some cheese sticks. Kobe Jack cheese Kobe. snack sticks. Yes, they look entertaining for the kids. Yes. So I just pick them up. We have some milk. We got milk. Two. We have some um. We have some seaweed. Okay, so each one is three dollars and seventy-nine cents. So we get a total of six in there. We I got her twelve. We have some salami. Yeah, two packs of salami. That is applewood smoked salami. Baby carrots. Cut and peeled already. Celery. We got some celery. And then we have some butter. Yeah, girl. Two butters. Because but this diff- one is unsalted un- and un-salted. this one is Salted. salted, so unsalted, unsalted and salted. salted. Yeah, and then we got the celery. She already said that. And then this is the some sparkling some white some Chardonnay some grape some juice. juice. And last but not least, we picked up apples. honey crisp apples. So that's all that was in this haul, y'all. I also picked up this winter wasail punch, if I'm saying it, wasail, wasail, one of them. It's a festive beverage blend of apple, cherry, black currant, and lemon juices from concentrate infused with holiday spices and orange peel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and catch you in the next vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Please stay tuned for Vlogmas Day 13.